Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report. Josue Pavone. What up? Merry Christmas. A Christmas edition of Over Under. Let's start off with the amount of wins that the Celtics are going to have this year. Over Under, 54 and a half. They have Ooh. 22 already. I'll take the over. I'm taking the over. Not by a big, not by a large margin, but I think uh, I think it's that's a safe bet. I'll take that bet right now. What about you? I like the over. It feels like they're going to start stringing off some wins here. Yeah, I mean, look, it doesn't get any easier, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, yeah. But I'm definitely taking the over, though. All right, over under, Bobby. Times the Celtics have played on Christmas, 27.5. That feels high, 75 years. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, this, this goes well beyond the day you were born, Bobby, but uh, I don't know. If that's, that is pretty high. They probably weren't playing much in the 90s. It's, this is a good one for me because I have no clue. I'm going to go under. Go under? I'm going to take the under, too, because, um, yeah, even when – uh, even throughout the 90s, and even though the Celtics obviously have the most championships or at least tied for it, uh, they, they rarely played on Christmas, especially when, uh, when, when they weren't winning. The answer is they've played 36 Christmas games. 36? And this is just the fourth Christmas home game for the Celtics. Oh, that was the other thing I was thinking. It's only four home games. That seemed like I knew you know they what? played on the road a million times. Yeah, yeah, I should have. But 80s, still, that is still pretty high. 30 plus. I, I would never think it was over 30. They're probably stacking them up back then. They probably played every year back when they were like the marquee franchise. All right. Robert Williams, games played this year. He's at four. Can he get to 44 and a half over the last 48? Ooh. Postseason included. Postseason included. Oh, well, that changes everything then. Because That's if this team. 17 ish. Yeah, if this team gets to the finals. Um. I'll take the over then. Yeah, playoffs included, yeah, I'll take the over for sure. I, I mean, he's going to miss some games, but I don't think it's going to be that drastic. All he really has to do is miss 10-ish, 15, 20, to miss that mark. Got to go under just given his history. 44 and a half, he's already missed 30-ish. So I know it was just an illness the other day, but he already missed one since returning. I'm going to go under there. Because <laughs> it's so punched together. I should know those bullet points help. This next one's funny. All right. Times Blake Griffin will dunk this season. Over under is 33.5. What is it? What did he, he turn back the clock? So he got a new number? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Throwing I, out on it. I think, they, uh, I think they're basing this off of his like greatest seasons ever. 15. All right. Let's go with 15. Well, where's he at now? He's got He's got at least like six, he's right? He's got three I can, I can remember. No. He had three that one game. Oh, no, maybe it was two. How many does he have right now? You can check that out on Basketball Reference while we guess this. Uh, 15. He's nowhere near double digits, tell you that much. He hasn't played a lot, but that that's much more manageable. But that could that could them. change. We saw what happened against the Bucks. He uh, he took Cornette's spot, at least against against the Milwa- no against dunk, Milwaukee. He dunks, though. Let's say under. That's true. Anyway, I think every time we dunk, or he dunks, we're shocked. So I'm going to go under 15. Under 15, you know what? I'm going to, well, this is not including the playoffs. I'll take the other two. He has three? Yeah. What? Three dunks. So that happened That happened in that two-game span then, when they were on the road, and he was filling in for, uh, yeah. for, for Al, who was in safety protocol. And he, had, uh, he had two against the Hornets, actually, that, that, day he played, that first day he started there. So I'm going under 15. Uh, let's go with... The amount of times Malcolm Brogdon's going to score 20 plus this season, over under 17 and a half. Is this one including playoffs? Just regular season. Just regular season. Postseason included? Oh, I'm taking the over. He's going to ta- play a lot more yeah. in postseason. You know, yes, yeah, certainly. No, well, not only just what's what are you going to do in the postseason, but I take the over because um, in, in games where guys are just not feeling it, he can do that with ease and I feel like if this team wasn't so uh, top heavy with two all-stars uh, he would be doing it a lot more often so yeah I'm taking the over I like over I don't know where he's at right now but that feels like an attainable number for him especially when he gets rolling again let's go with the times the Celtics are going to score 120 plus in a season 30 and a half that's interesting 139 tonight as we record this mm. what is it 30 uh, 30 17 no 30 and a half. I don't know where they're at right now. I figure they're already a decent way there, though. Over 120, huh? But this is for the rest of the season, so. I'll take the under, but it'll be close. I'll take the under. Yeah, they'll be, they'd be 
one of the best, better teams ever if they reach 30 the rest of the way, even including the playoffs. Uh, they're capable of it, but let's go just under there. That's a high mark. Let's see. Even in this new league. Let's see. Was, what, how, how, where do you think they're all right now? I got 17. 17 out of 34. Yeah, because you got to think about it. It's not always a win, but they've done it a lot. <laughs> like, so for the rest of the season, I'm coming in under. All right, next up we got the number of all-stars the Celtics will roster this season. Over under is 2.5. I like this question. Yeah, it's a good question because we've kicked around smart. Uh, if, if they get the top seed, I think Joe would pick them. Even if they limit it on guards, it's going to be a tough call. So let me go three. I'll go over you know what? I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to say um, the the Celtics, um, whether they have the first seed or not, I think they will come the All-Star break. Oh, so you think he's in no matter what? Well, I don't think he's in no matter what. I, I'm not saying, like, if the Celtics are first come the All-Star break that they have to roster three All-Stars, but it just helps their chances. So um, with that same belief, I think that's what that, that, that's what will help Marcus get that one, the All-Star. Buck Celtics games played, 198.5. Ever? Regular season. One ninety eight point five. Oh, regular season matchups. Four years, three, four years, seventy five years. Yeah, I'll take the over. Is that right? Yeah, I think it was well over two hundred. Two hundred twenty four total matchups between these two teams. Man, it's a rivalry. <laughs> My turn, right? Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, all right, here's a good one. Times the Jays have scored 30 in the same game over under Bobby is 24.5. I think that just started happening more over the last three years, and they've done it quite a bit. It's mm. probably close, but I'm going to go under. This is just for, this is not just for the season, right? Ever. Ever, right? Um, 24 and a half. I'm going under. Yeah, I'm going under. Maybe... Maybe 20 times, 21 times? What do we got? Let's find out. 17, okay. So it's 17, yeah, right. Just under 20, I, I figured. We got it. Under, over, 12 and a half Christmas gifts for Deuce. I don't think we'll get the answer to this one. <laughs> oh, give me the we'll over. Use our head. Oh, Deuce gets like 20 gifts for sure. Because you got to think about it. Even like those uh, pair of socks if and those, those little ones, counts, that's a gift. That counts, right. If any item counts, he's well over that. Yeah. Throwing the birthday... I double it, triple it. Who knows? <laughs> twelve gifts. I don't think I've, I've, I've ever received twelve gifts. Maybe I don't know. That's up there. All right, that's our latest Garden Report Social Edition on Christmas. We'll see you soon.